running out of storage on your iPhone? Instead of doing a full reset, you can quickly free up space by deleting or uninstalling apps you don't use anymore. In iOS 26, there are two simple ways to do this. Let's go through both. The first method is through settings. Open the settings app, scroll down and tap general. Next, tap iPhone storage. Here you'll see a full list of apps on your device arranged by the amount of storage they're using. Scroll through the list until you find the app you want to remove, then tap on it. You'll see two options, offload app and delete app. Offloading keeps the app's data, but removes the app itself. But if you want it completely gone, tap delete app. When the pop-up appears, tap delete again to confirm. This method is especially useful if you want to check which apps are taking up the most space before deciding what to uninstall. For example, large games or unused social media apps can quickly eat up your storage. The second way is even faster, directly from your home screen. Go to your home screen and locate the app you want to delete. Once you find it, touch and hold the app icon until a quick menu pops up. From the menu, tap Remove App, then tap Delete App. A warning prompt will appear, reminding you that deleting the app also removes its data. Tap Delete once more to confirm. This method is great when you just want to quickly remove an app without digging through menus. For example, if you've just downloaded a trial app you don't like, you can remove it in seconds. And remember, you can repeat these steps for as many apps as you want. Each time you delete, you're freeing up valuable space that can be used for photos, videos, or new apps you actually need. So just to recap, you can delete apps through settings, then iPhone storage if you want to see how much space each one is using, or directly from the home screen if you just want a quick removal. Both ways are simple and both free up storage instantly. And that's it. If this video helps you clean up your iPhone, give it a like and watch my other iOS 26 tutorials for more tips on managing your device. Thanks for watching.